Hi guys. So we are getting closer and closer. We're now a little over 11 weeks, just shy of 12 weeks before show day. And I can say it's really going very well. My diet, we've kind of changed it up even a little bit more, adding a little more protein. Um, calorie counts about the same, maybe going up just a tad, just um, looking at building a little more muscle mass. I can definitely, definitely tell a change in my um, body composition. Um, I haven't lost a whole lot of weight. Pro I don't really weigh a lot, so I've probably only lost maybe five or six pounds, but I've lost a ton of body fat, which I really need to see about getting that measured so I can really see those numbers. It always kind of makes you feel a little bit better to see numbers back up what you're seeing in the mirror. Um, I feel really good. I've been spending a lot of time prepping food. I spent most of the weekend getting ready for this week. So when I got up this morning, I didn't have to think about it. I grabbed it out of the refrigerator, heated it up and ate and was ready to go. Um, one of the things that has saved me that I love is Mrs. Dash. Um, chicken breast gets pretty boring after a while and I even used it on uh, scrambled eggs, egg whites, and things like that. I like the spicy one, but there's all different kinds of flavors. And of course, they're salt-free. So that has been probably one of my favorite things to help me make my meals taste a little better without adding a bunch of stuff. I've been trying out new recipes, still trying out new vegetables, things like that, and really have learned a lot. This has been a great learning process for me. It's been kind of a science experiment. You know, I'm seeing what works, what doesn't, what makes me feel good. The thing I definitely have seen now that we've transitioned the diet a little bit is that having more protein earlier in the day definitely helps. Makes you feel more full, longer. Um, my energy was a lot more steady over the last day or two when we started doing that. So, um, you know, a lot of things you read and you hear about, like, you, know, I don't, you know, I'm not sure if that works or not. So trying it yourself really is the only way to do it. And what works for one person may not work for someone else. So um, that's been really well, really good for me. My suit is picked out, which was a little scary. Um, the thought of wearing a bikini on a stage in front of a bunch of people who are judging you from head to toe is a little intimidating, but you know, um, part of the challenge. And again, I'm always telling my clients to step outside their comfort zones and see what they're capable of. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna practice what I preach and, and get out there and do this. I'm working really, really hard at it and I feel so good. I figured by now that I'd be feeling tired and worn down and I feel great. My running has actually improved. Um, many of you have seen any of my Facebook posts, you know, some of the runs we do over this wonderful mountain over here. Um, my times are faster on it. I'm able to turn my legs over faster and I attribute that to several things. One obviously is losing some body fat being leaner. Two is running a little bit less, um, not so many miles. And definitely adding in the cross training, doing the spinning, I'm on the elliptical sometimes, I do all kinds of stuff. So I'm really mixing things up, which keeps things from getting stale too. So that's been really fun to do that. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing that, keep changing things up, and thinking now that I'll probably try and do some shorter races in the fall, most definitely, because I feel like I'm a little faster and a little more streamlined, I guess. So um, once the show's over, I'm going to definitely focus in on some little shorter distances here locally and see uh, how things turn out for me. So overall, I'm really excited. I feel really good. I'm sure this won't always be the case, but for now, we're going to uh, appreciate the feeling good. So I hope you guys have a great week, and thanks for following my little adventure here. See you soon.